At some point in time, we all fail. Uh, I made a point uh, in, in my book about talking about some of my failures. And, uh, and some of my failures were pretty spectacular. When I was a young Navy lieutenant, I was in arguably the best job uh, a Navy SEAL could want to have. And, uh, and my commanding officer and I, so the guy in charge of me, at some point in time, we did not see eye to eye on things. And as a result, uh, he fired me. Well, it's never good to get fired. It's particularly bad to get fired when you're in the Navy. So I went on to do another job, uh, but the people you run into, you hear the whispers. You know, you hear them saying, yeah, there's McRaven. Isn't he the guy that got fired? You have to decide that you're either going to move away from that community, go do something entirely different, or you're going to have to show people that, you know, you're better than that, that you can overcome these failings, that you can overcome these mistakes. And, and so I did. Uh, and I was bound and determined to show people that I was better than uh, the McRaven that had gotten fired from this job. And I will tell you, you also need people to help you through those tough times. I was fortunate that uh, my wife, uh, when I was going through those times, uh, she said, look, you're better than this. You've never quit at anything in your life. You're not going to quit now. So, uh, so, so stop feeling sorry for yourself and, uh, and get back to work. And probably the best advice I ever had. That was one of a you know, hundred or a thousand failures I had in my career. Uh, fortunately, most of them, uh, you know, didn't, didn't cost anybody their lives. But there were some decisions I made that did cost people their lives because that's the nature of sometimes what happens in combat. And those you live with for the rest of your life. You always go back and say, what could I have done better? Could I have done anything better? Um, but those failures are particularly hard.